The Manians were an ancient people who flourished in the northwestern regions of Iran, particularly around Lake Ermia, during the Iron Age. The Manians emerged around the 9th century BCE and maintained their independence for several centuries through diplomacy, trade, and occasional warfare. Archaeological evidence, including inscriptions and fortified settlements, suggests that the Manians developed a relatively advanced society characterized by agriculture, metalworking, and local governance through a network of city-states and tribal confederations. The Manian language is poorly attested and remains unclassified, though it likely belonged to the hurro urartian Armenian, or a northwest Iranian linguistic substrate, reflecting the complex ethnic landscape of the Zagros region. Their culture exhibited both Iranian and Hurrian urartian influences, illustrating their position at a crossroads of civilizations. A notable Manian ruler mentioned in Assyrian records is Iranzu, who engaged in both warfare and diplomacy with neighboring empires. By the late 7th century BCE, the Manian kingdom gradually declined and was absorbed by the rising Median Empire. In Kpatam, Manians can be modeled as a mixture of Bronze Age Zagrosian with the Yaz culture, which hints at their Iranic origins. Going a bit further back in time, the Bronze Age Zagrosians can be modeled as a mixture of Neolithic Zagrosians with Indo-Europeans and Levantines. Manians carry 44% Neolithic Zagrosian ancestry, together with 20% Anatolian Neolithic ancestry, 23% Levantine ancestry, and 13% European hunter-gatherer ancestry, acquired first through the Amnea culture in the Bronze Age, and then through the Yaz culture in the Iron Age. I used G25 and my Mageplot tool to construct this phylogenetic tree. On this tree, we can see that there are essentially two major clusters in West Asia, the Arab cluster, formed by the Bedouins, and the Northern West Asian cluster, which includes such populations as the Dodecanese Turks, AGGI, Assyrians, Iranians, and Kurds. Within this Northern West Asian cluster, the Manians cluster quite tightly with the Kurds, and less tightly with Western Iranians. For this video, I have gathered the raw genomes of 16 Manians from the site of Azanlu and analyzed their genomes with my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common predicted IDNA among them was R1b, heavily associated with early Indo-European migrations. The most common predicted phenotypes were Pamarid, Arminoid, and Arabid. Predicted eye colors ranged from light hazel to dark brown. Predicted hair colors ranged from red to black. Predicted skin colors ranged from olive to light brown. Predicted hair textures ranged from straight to kinky, although the most common hair textures were straight and wavy. Nose shapes ranged from strongly snub to strongly Greek, but Greek shapes were more frequent. The Hazanlu samples showed a strong predisposition to warrior phenotype, characterized by lower dopamine levels and quicker dopamine reuptake. The Hazanlu samples had a strong predisposition to autism and lower empathy levels. The Hazanlu samples scored extraordinarily high for the odds of rheumatoid arthritis, but also quite high for the other autoimmune conditions, such as type 1 diabetes and multiple sclerosis. The Manians had low odds of bipolar 2, high odds of schizophrenia and bipolar 1, and low odds of Alzheimer's. The Manians scored low for odds of hemoglobin E disease, low for odds of atrial fibrillation, and low for odds of epithelial cancer. The Manians scored high for odds of cardiovascular issues, high for odds of type 2 diabetes. As a whole, they had a predisposition to lower odds of obesity based on FTO genotypes. The most common predicted blood types among them were A and O. The Manians carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's disease, micropenis, tuberculosis, myosclerosis, blue-yellow colorblindness, beta-thalassemia, and other rare conditions. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description. There you will also find links to purchase my tools and services.